guys, I'm Natalie, your host for University TV. Today, we're at Queens College, the fifth oldest of the 23 city universities of New York, or CUNY for short. Let's take a closer look at what Newsweek Kaplan ranked among the 25 hottest universities. Queens College is located in Flushing, New York, a neighborhood in the north central part of the borough of Queens. Queens is home to Iron Man director John Favreau and the nanny star Fran Drescher. <laughs> you can run into them at a New York Mets game as Flushing House is their home turf, City Field. You get the best of both worlds, a beautiful 77-acre suburban campus and all the excitement of Manhattan just 10 miles away. You can see the magnificent New York skyline from campus. Some of the original Spanish-style stucco and tile buildings from the early 1900s are still here, along with state-of-the-art classroom buildings. There's no doubt that the city has some impressive museums. At QC, culture has brought you to the Godwin Turnback, the Queens College Art Center, and the Louis Armstrong House Museum. Queens is one of the largest four-year colleges in the CUNY system, with more than 20,000 students. Students are drawn here from over 150 nations and speak 90-plus languages, enriching the educational experience for all who attend. Queens is a competitive college. You must have at least a B average in high school, an SAT score of 1100 in critical reading and math, an ACT score of 22 in English and math, or have scored at least a 350 on the GEDs. Picking the right college for you is so important. There's no need to hide the areas you need to improve. Queens will seek you out. Their Search for Education, Elevation, and Knowledge program, SEEK, offers academic support, financial assistance, and counseling. Our tuition currently is just under 5000 a year for in-state residents. Whether you're coming locally or whether you're coming from out of state, it is very affordable. Queens College pretty much prepares you from day one. When you come in for either your freshman orientation or your transfer workshop, they will give you a full presentation of what to expect, where to go for what you, whatever you need, and they lead you on step by step till you're a graduating senior. Queens College offers over 110 majors on the undergraduate and graduate levels, ranging from the arts and humanities to mathematics and the natural sciences. Some of the most popular majors are accounting, English, sociology, and psychology. Plus, Queens educates more teachers than any other school in the metropolitan area. There's a lot of practice that we talk about. The theoretical piece is always there, but we definitely emphasize the practical knowledge of what it is the students are going to need beyond the college experience. The Aaron Copeland School of Music is highly respected. The students use the 35 practice rooms to rehearse. High-performing students will feel right at home at Queens, which has a number of honors programs and participants in the Macaulay Honors College. Gifted students receive full tuition, a free laptop, a $7,500 grant over four years, and other benefits. Some of academia's top scholars, winners of Guggenheim and Fulbright Awards, are at Queens College. They are dedicated to both teaching and scholarship and often include undergrads in their research. Of the 636 full-time faculty, almost 90% have PhDs or terminal degrees in their field and 65% have tenure. The faculty here are, um, I would find surprisingly really, really friendly. I mean, like they really want to get to know the students a lot more. It's about the relationships, about the relationships that students um, build with each other and the relationships they build with faculty. The executives, the, the provost and the president, I mean like they all want to get an interaction with the students. Not that they really have the really much of a time, but they really, you can really see that they really make the effort. For me it was a place where I felt like I could have some great relationships, where I could make a difference in the lives of students, but most importantly, not only would I be able to have an impact on the lives of students, but students have an impact on my life. You know, the faculty are really trying to reach out and um, trying to really broaden their perspectives on how to better the college through a student's point of view. 19 men's and women's varsity sports teams compete at the Division II level in the East Coast Conference. We have built a brand new residence hall here at Queens College, our first ever. It's called the Summit, and I can guarantee you it's so great, I actually moved in myself. Whether you live on campus or commute, you will find that Queens has activities for everyone. Our student life office has over 115 clubs and organizations um, that our students are currently a part of. Um, we find that the more clubs and organizations that our students are involved with, the better they do inside the classroom. So we, we really stress our club hour. Once a night, always a night. 
One half of Simon and Garfunkel, songwriter Paul Simon, went to Queens College. The View hosts Joy Behar and comedians Ray Romano and Jerry Seinfeld are a few of the many notable alumni. In fact, the college inspired Seinfeld so much that the characters on his show, Jerry and George, were also alumni. Student Andrew Goodman fought for what he believed in. As an active participant in the civil rights movement in 1964, Andy, along with James Cheney and Michael Schwerner, were slain for trying to help African Americans register to vote in the South. Today, the Cheney Goodman Schwerner Clock Tower stands in their honor and is a landmark on this campus. As a tribute to these men, it seemed like a fitting place to end this tour. For University TV and Queens College, I'm your host, Natalie, and I'll see you next time.